All right, we're here in Rhode Island and we're Deshaun and Catherine, and we're gonna teach them how to install a window in an own opening. We're gonna show them how to make it square, level, and plumb. Also gonna teach them how to make it watertight and airtight. It all starts with the flashing on the bottom and the pitch of the sill. Okay, so the first thing is we have our house wrap on the wall. This is an air barrier that keeps the wall inside airtight. So the next thing I want to do is I want to peel this back. You always roll this into the opening like this. I want to roll it back so that I can put a taper on the rough opening. Put a taper on the rough opening so that the water flows down. We take a clapboard. Okay. It's a natural pitch. It's thicker on one side than the other. We put the thick side inside, and that puts a taper on that rough frame. Okay, okay? we put it in like that. We're just going to tack it. Okay, now we pour this back up like that. Pull it tight. Bring it right up in there. Now we can put a nail on that if we want, just to hold it so it doesn't move around on this. One there, and one here. Okay. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to flash across the bottom of the window so that if any water should migrate between the window and the siding, it runs down. It won't hit the wall. It will run out. And to do that, we're going to take some of this air barrier. Because it's sticky, I can use this. And I want to peel back a little bit of the back, but I don't want to take all of the backing off. Just going to peel back a little bit like this. And I want you to take this end here. You're going to hold it down here, but I want you to go by the opening just a little bit. Now hold it tight, because I just want to take off this top part. Just a little bit, fold it down a couple of inches. Grab that, John. Pull that down just a little bit, but not too far. Don't leave that there. Then now take this. That's right, I'll hold it tight. That's right, peel it down. Fold it right down out of the way. Okay, so now we have a little bit of sticky stuff there. We just fold it down like that. So now what I want you to do is make sure it doesn't buckle up. Okay. All right, so now, Catherine, I want you to stretch it past the opening. Yep. And then we're going to center it. I want to keep it down below the window opening. See this from here down? Yep. I want to be down a couple of inches, maybe three inches. Okay. Let's put it right there. Bring your end up just a little bit, and I want to keep it flat. Yes. Okay, so now that's on there like that. And we're going to leave that piece right there. Okay. So now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a pan that goes right here on the bottom and wraps up. So we take this material right here. It's like an uncured rubber. Okay. So when I say uncured rubber, that means that you think of rubber that like a rubber band where it bounces back. Yeah. Well, this material doesn't, doesn't have a memory. So when I stretch it, watch, it goes back, but it doesn't go back all the way. Okay. okay? So that allows us to take this material, and we're going to put it up the side like that. I'm going to bring it over here, and bring it up just a little bit here. So now I want to cut the length. Yeah, let me cut it off right here. All right, so now we just peel a little bit of it off, but not all of it. We can place this right on here. Pull it a little straighter. There you go. Pull it down a little. There you go. Keep going. Nice. Keep it nice and flat. There you go. Pull it right off. All right, so now we fold it down like that so I can get it in the opening. All right, let me get the pick your end right up. Put it in the opening. Pick your end right up. There you go. So I'm going to put it about halfway up the opening, and we'll stick it down. I want it, I want it to be straight. Okay. Something like that. Okay, so let's throw a bunchy right there. Get this out of my way. It's sticking, sticking to me, it's sticking to the wall. Push it in here, push it down. Nice and easy, bring it right in. Right tight to the corner, right there, and up. 
Okay, so now we're gonna take a little more of that paper back. I'm gonna try to keep it flat. Let's pull that out of the way. Let's pull it right back like that. Feel it back more. That's right, get it right out of the way. I want to be able to get to that under there. All right. So now we want to try to get lay it flat again. Let it go right down in there. Keep it, keep it flat if we can. Pull this back a little bit. Just a little sticky, it's sticking all over the place here. Pull this right up. Get that out of the way. All right, so now don't let that one hit the wall until we get the bottom in. So bring it right in, like that, and tight to the corner before you put the top in. Now we have a nice tight corner there, and we can stick that to the wall. All right, let's stretch it out. I mean, now we gotta remove the rest of the paper. Try to stretch that back so it's nice and flat. Get that off. Make it nice and tight into the corner. That's right. Good. All right, now I'm going to take the middle. I'm going to take the. I'm going to pull the middle down and stick it right to that piece that we've already put on the wall. We're going to work our way out. At the same time, I'm going to stretch the corner so we can just go right around that corner, just like this, and force it right down, pulling it nice and tight so it sits flat onto the wall. All right? That's it. That's right. Get it right in there. Pull it tight. Stretch it. Force it with your fingers. Straight. Lay it right in there, okay? okay. Beautiful. All right. So now we've created a little barrier right here okay. on the bottom, but we've also created some flashing right here. Okay. Now the idea of this flashing is, it doesn't have to be this wide, so I'm gonna trim it off just a little bit. Just finish cutting that. Sure. All right, so now this has paper on the back. We're not gonna peel that paper off now. The reason is, is because when ready to side the wall, you're gonna bring shingles up the wall and they're gonna come up from down the bottom and they're gonna be shingles up like that and gonna be five inches on center. Yes. All right, so now when the shingles come up, we're gonna go under this flashing. The next one might come under this flashing. Let's have one a little bit shorter here. Next one's gonna come under. It's gonna be five inches. The next one's gonna come over Next one's gonna come over and we're at the window, okay? So now you say, well, I see that, that's hanging down. So let me take the knife. When you're ready, after the shingles are on, you lightly cut the material like that, you peel it away. The idea of that is, if any water should migrate right here between the trim and the window and runs down the wall, it will run out onto this shingle here and not damage the wall behind okay. it, okay? That's a very important step. All right, so that's our flashing on the bottom. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how to center the window in the opening. Okay. All right, now this is a fiberglass window. It's a casement, which means that it hinges out on a hinge with a crank and has nailing flanges. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take the window and I wanna set it into the opening. So you take that side. Okay. I'll take this side, we're gonna pick it up, put it right into the opening. And now, there are nailing flanges on it. Yep. So we pull the nailing flanges out. Get them out so that I can then take the window, push it tight into the opening. All right, so now, to center the window in the opening from outside, we, get, we do is we take the window, slide it tight against the rough opening on this side, and I'm gonna put a mark on the window, on the wall, right there. Now I slide the window to the left. Okay. 
right there, I divide the space in half. I can do that by eye. When I slide the window back onto that measurement, window is centered into the opening. Okay. Okay? Now, I have also have two measurements, two mark. I have a reference line right here that's level. It runs right across the opening. This reference line was picked up from the other side of the house. I also have a reference line on the window right here. So if I take this window and I move it up to that reference line right there, this window is the exact height as the windows on the other side of the house. All right, let's take the window out because I want to do one more thing on the bottom. Okay. All right. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some caulking. I want to make sure there's nothing on the bottom now. It's all right. We're going to take a bead of caulking, and I'm going to create a little bit of a dam that's gonna run across the bottom so that if any water should migrate up here and get into here onto this pitch that's gonna come out, it won't pass us. Okay. So we'll run a little bead right here. I wanna go right into the corner tight. I'm gonna bring it up three, four inches like that. Same thing on this side. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to run a bead here in the corner. Another one here in this corner. Now I still have to put some more caulking around the opening, but before I do that, I want to take and put a slice up here in the air barrier, diagonally here, and another one here. This piece here. Get this out of my way. And we want to take that top piece and see if I can peel it off the building and get it out of my way. Stuff sticks pretty good. there out of my way. That's good. Okay, so now, next thing I want to do is, I don't want the window to sit right on the wood, so I'm going to take another piece of this, and we're going to place it right there. Bring this across. out of my way. And I'm going to cut this off. Slice the corner. Slice this corner. And roll it right into the opening, just like it was. So what this does is this is going to be a separation between the back side of the nailing flange so it's not sitting right on the wood. Okay. 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 Now we're almost ready to put the window in. Now we're ready for another bead of caulking. I'm going to run it right up the side. Across the top. down the other side. Now, you notice where I haven't run the caulking? Down at the bottom. Yeah, and I'm not going to run any on the bottom. Do you know why? So that way the water can pass through and have a way to drain. Right. So if any water should get in behind here, it will run out. Yes. Very good. More is plenty, so. All right. All right, so now we're ready to put it back into the opening. Okay. 
I'm going to pick it up, and I want you to feed that flat bar in there to try to keep the window from dropping into that. And I want to try to get it onto our marks outside. Good. You ready? Yes. I'm pick it up. Let's get, get that nailing flange out. You get it? The bottom is out. I got it. Yep. It's going right in. Get it in as far as we can. There. Now push down on that flat bar. All right. Now the first thing I want to do is bring it over to my mark. Yes. Now push down on the flat bar. There you go. There, up, up. Bring it up. Let me put it on my center mark right there. Hold it right there. Don't move it. Okay. So now that window is on that mark, that reference mark that puts the window at the same height as the other windows on this side. Okay. Now we have to put it on this mark right here to make the window level. Okay. So push this side up a little, push down, there you go. All right, let it down just a little, nice and easy. Let it down, let the window come down. All right, hold it right there. Just hold the window right there. I'm on my mark here, I'm on my mark there. It's level. We gotta make it square. Let's check it with a level quickly. All right, so the top of the window has to go over that way. All right, so now I want to just tack this in a little more. Now we got to get the window over. Push it over. Let your side down a little. window is now plumb. Check this one here. All right, now I didn't put the nails in tight because I want to make sure that it's square. Okay. And I don't think it is yet. So we'll measure diagonally. So I hook the tape measure on here. I go to this corner. Okay. And I have, what is that, 56 and? And 7 eighths. 56 and 7 eighths. Now yeah. we check it this way. Measure from the same point that I hooked the tape measure on the other okay. side, down here. And we're 57 inches yes. and almost an eighth. So it's out of square. Okay. Okay. So we've got to get it straight in the opening. Put the flat bar. Okay, you got to push the bottom over that way a little. A little more. There it is right there. Hold it right there, you got it? So now, see the window's plumb. Okay. Now, we'll check this corner. Check it one more time for square before we put any more nails in it. Okay. So I'll measure up here, 56 and 7 eighths. Check this side. 56 and 7 eighths. So now our window is plumb, level, and square. So now we're going to nail it off. So you're going to take these nails here, and you're going to put one nail in every slot. In every slot. Okay. Just drive them in nicely. Bring them right in so they're firm. Just don't overdrive them. Okay.
John, take a couple of the shims and see if you can put them underneath that window so they snug in there nice and tight. There you go. Just, just a little bit so you can feel tension on it. You feel it? All right, take the flat bar out. Okay, so that should hold the window where it goes. Good. Now we need to do is put some more caulking in the corners. Just a little bit. Where's that caulk? Caulk bed. I want to fill this void right here. See that little hole? Yes. We'll fill that like that. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. All right, and a little bead of caulk in here in that corner and in this corner. All right, so now the next thing we need to do is we want to double up on that by putting this right here, these little corner pieces okay. that will go on over the caulking. And the window manufacturer supplies those. We stick them right in there tight, push them right in, and stick them to the wall, just like that. That's going to seal that corner up really nice. You do want it at the top. Put it right in there. So you want to bring it right down onto the window. Push okay. it right in tight, just like that. You want to put them on the other side? Sure. You good? Yes, all set. Tony. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to run a bead of tape up the side. Okay. Now you have this stuff right here. We're going to cut, cut a piece to rough length first. Put that down there and right here. Cut one right here. Pull that. Sure. Cut another one for the other side. This line. Okay. So now this tape here, we're going to take and peel it back, peel the paper back. Okay. Do you want me to do the side with you? No, we're going to do one side at a time because okay. this is going to be sticky. We want to make sure that it's on there right, which okay. is important. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to line it up with the side of the window, but I don't want to put it right in tight here. I want to bring it out here a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we take it, we go up past the top of the window. I bring it into the side of the window. This is a little bit tricky here. I put it right on the side of the window like that. Peel this away. Bring it down. Put it on the side, stick it to the window, like that, like that, peel this back, bring it down, and we're gonna hold, hold this yeah, now we're gonna hold it nice and straight, okay. and bring, hold this one away, yes. and just push in with your thumb. Now, yeah, that's it, get it in, wait a minute yeah. now, I wanna get the middle in. Pull it back a little bit. Yes. All right, so now I'm going to push it in, and we want to stick it to the side of the window. Okay. Get it in there. Just like that. Pull it out. Pull your end out a little bit. Yeah. Push it in. So we have to do it as we work our way down. Okay. Push it in. Get this off. There you yes. go. Push it in. Now we want to pull, pull this end away. stick to the wall yet. And I want to push it in tight to the nailing flange. Right in there nice and tight. Right in there tight to the wall, tight to the window. So that's going to air seal 
and water seal the edge of the window, just like that. Now we're gonna take it, take it and lay it flat on the wall. Okay. Okay, right in there, just like that. Nice and tight to the window, just like that. So that that corner right there is sealed, nice and tight. Okay. Let's bring it right down and try to lay it flat. Yep. Yeah, I'm try to make that a little flatter there. Okay. Yes. All right. So now we got to do the other side. Where's that other strip? Do the same thing, peel a little bit of it off. Hold that piece. No, yeah, so I can just peel it back just a little bit. See if I can get it like that, yeah. Peel it back. Let's see if we can fold that onto the side of the window. Okay. Again, I want to be up past the header. Yes. Get it started onto the window, just like that. Now we got to peel some of that back a little bit. You got to let it lay flat down a little bit so we can open this up. Yeah, see? Let it right out. Keep peeling it away. Pull down, yeah. Pull down so that it stays nice and tight yeah. and flat. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let me get this paper pulled back. Yep. All right, now we'll take it and bring it into the window. Let me start at the top here, get it in right there. You gotta get it in up here. Peel this out of here. Push it tight to the wall. Tight to the wall, tight to the window. All right, now that is sealed right there. Okay. We have another piece that we want to put on. The We're going to run that right across the top. Okay. So take that piece there. We get a length. Sure. We want to go right here. Right here. And we'll cut this. Keep the tape tight so that it stays straight. Yeah. Peel it right off if you can. Peel the whole thing off? Yeah. And now I want to fold it. Keep it tight. Yep. Keep it straight. All right, now hold that in so it doesn't fall. Okay. Peel it right off. Okay. Now this is going to be tricky. We want to try to lay it on top of the window. Okay. You got it? Yeah. I'm trying to get my hand out. Yep. I want to lay it on top of the window so we stick it to the window. Okay. Oop, I want to get it in. Stick it to the window. Tight. Stick it in to the, the corner. Tight. Yep. Push it right down tight like that. In Oop. the corner. Over a little bit. Nice and flat. Push this up. Raise this up some more. Yeah, we don't want to get on top of that. Okay. And now tight on the wall. Tight. 
right on the wall. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is bring this back down onto the window. Okay. Yeah. And that is sealed and ready for the trim. Perfect. Okay. So this piece of trim right here is going to go on here. You can see that they've, they've taken a piece out of the back to allow for the thickness of the nailing flange. Okay. So when it sits on the wall like that, it'll sit nice and flat. All right, so that's how you install a window to make it square, level, and plumb, and also make it watertight and airtight. So keep your eye out for more Pro to Pro.